Hi everyone, Ron Vaccaro and welcome to the DCU Center in Worcester, Massachusetts where the Yale men's hockey team continues another successful season. The Bulldogs were ECAC regular season and Ivy League champions for the second consecutive season. And now they make their second consecutive NCAA tournament appearance, a rather remarkable feat considering that Yale has four tournament appearances in its entire history, and two of them have been in the last two years. Today's opponent, the North Dakota Fighting Sioux, here in Worcester. After Boston College defeated Alaska in the first semifinal, it was Yale's turn, taking on North Dakota. Ryan Rondeau making his first start in net since November 21st, and the Bulldogs played very well around him. Peppering the North Dakota net with shots. And 5.48 into the first, Denny Carney put it home to give the Bulldogs a 1-0 lead with an assist from Tom Dignard. Great Yale contingent on hand as always and they loved what they saw in the early going as the three seed Bulldogs led the two seed fighting Sioux. There's Rondeau showing he's sharp. Then one of the greatest plays you'll see, Limburg's going to feed Denny Carney. Carney will patiently wait and bury the puck. 2-0 Yale, 12-49 into the second. More rejoicing from the Yale fans. Bula likes it. Rondeau remains solid on the other side of the ice. And then Brian O'Neill fed senior Mark Arcabello. And Arcabello put the Bulldogs up 3-0. With 1746 into the second. Yale would take a 3-0 lead into the third period. North Dakota would score twice in the early stages of the third. But in the end, Rondeau and the Bulldogs held on for the hard-fought, tenacious victory. 3-2 over North Dakota. They take on Boston College on Sunday at 5.30 p.m. for a trip to the Frozen Four. And we're with Denny Carney, two goals, and it seems countless clutch clears today in this win. How, how important was this win for you guys? I mean, it was huge. You know, last year it was disappointing. We got in the tournament. We were riding high off the ECAC title and uh, just very disappointing. And I know just sitting in the locker room after last year, uh, everyone's just thinking if we get a chance, you know, we got to make the most of it. And it was just awesome to, you know, come out and have a good start. And then uh, we were able to hang on for the win. So it was just fantastic. We won't keep you too long because there's one more against BC I know you got to go get ready for, but can you talk about the way the team came out? North Dakota people said Yale was very tenacious tonight, and that's if you think about it, the story of the team all year, it's a very tenacious team. Yeah, I mean, that's one of our strengths, just, you know, try to try to work as hard as we can, and, uh, you know, we're a skilled team, but also, you know, we also pride ourselves on, you know, trying to be the hardest working team in the country, and I think tonight, uh, you know, we were able to, you know, just play our style and, uh, you know, come out with a W. What was the last 10 minutes of the third period like? I mean, at that point, it's just, you know, kind of scrambling, just trying to get pucks out, get pucks in, and uh, blocking every shot you can, and, uh, you know, kind of frantic, but uh, we were able to hang on, which was, which was key. Describe your, your goals. Let's start with the first one, that, you know, the all-important first goal in a game like this. I think uh, kind of a scramble play. I tried to pass the Brock down low, and uh, I fanned on it, but it was able to go back to the point. And uh, Tom Dignard took a great shot, and I was able to just barely get my stick on it and uh, kind of slowed it up and just redirecting to kind of pinballed in, which was, uh, which was awesome. And then uh, the second one, Kevin Limbert made a great pass to me, just went in two-on-one, and I was thinking, you know, the last couple times on the rush, they'd broken up my passes, so I just kind of took it to the net and was able to slip it by the goalie in the near post. All right, thanks, Danny. Best of luck tomorrow. Thank you. All right, that's Danny Carney. Well, Coach Keith Elaine, a 3-2 win tonight over North Dakota, Boston College. Tomorrow, uh, talk about this game, what a performance. It really, I think, summed up the way this team plays. Yeah, I mean, it was really a gritty, gutsy effort by our guys. I mean, I think, I think we took the lead because of our transition game, and we were able to counterattack really well. And then North Dakota being North Dakota, you knew they were going to come back strong. And, uh, you know, they really came at us through everything they had us in the third period, and we weathered the storm, and uh, just so happy for our guys. Uh, How would you go about deciding who to start in that tonight? Well, I mean, it's a decision that we go through every weekend, and, and uh, you know, I think it's important that we let our guys know that there is open competition for the job, and if you perform well in practice, you'll get an opportunity to play, and Ryan earned the right to play. 
that third period, the last 10 minutes, talk about how, what it was like going through that period. It was so intense at times. Well, it is intense, and I, you know, I mean, the, the message I was trying to get to our guys during the timeout is that if we want to be champions, this is the way it's going to be. We weren't going to win 3 nothing and waltz into, you know, the, the finals here. We were going to have to get our backs up and, and really fight for the win, and, and we did that. All right, Coach, and the final question, because you do have to prepare for BC tomorrow, we know that. BC against Alaska today, did you watch any of that game, or were you focused on your game? Uh, both of my assistant coaches watched that game, and we filmed it. Great, Coach. Thank you, and good luck. My pleasure, Ron. That's Keith Elaine. So from Worcester, where Yale defeats North Dakota by a score of 3-2, to two, scoring the first three goals of the game, and then holding on through a thrilling third period, one of those once-in-a-lifetime games. Yale is now one win away from a berth in the Frozen Four in Detroit in two weeks. For now, from Worcester, I'm Ron Vaccaro, reminding you to catch us Sunday as Yale takes on Boston College in the Northeast Regional Final.